Field live stream. I'm Corey Dunham, joined here by Patrick Bach uh, from Dice. It's just going to it's been it's been great uh, having the chance to sit there and see all of the different uh, things throughout the event. I know that uh, I asked you the question of you know how's the event been for you? Uh, you've you've been busy. Yes. You've been very busy. <laughs> yeah, I've been in interviews all day. You know, everyone wants to talk about the game. Uh, so I haven't really been around on the show floor yet. I, <laughs> I try to, you know, when I have time over, I go to this booth, you know, to see all the all the fans playing Battlefield. So it's quite quite impressive. One of the things that I think is really really cool too is that uh, not only are the players just trying to hop into the game, uh, but they're also trying to educate themselves mm -hmm. right out of the bat, trying yeah. to get that early start on yeah. uh, others, and also those are. Uh, those that are kind of pulling different, they're taking screenshots, they're mm -hmm. taking information, and they're sending it out and saying, hey, check this out, this is yeah. great, these are the new additions. Um, some of those new additions that I think is great, of course, Levolution, that mm -hmm. being implemented is not just a kind of an environment change, it also yeah. changes the metagame, the dynamic of yes. the game, uh, and I think those are huge pluses. What are some of those, uh, for those that are just tuning in for the first time uh, here in day two, yeah. I didn't have the chance to watch day one, what are some of those different things that we can see there with uh, dealing with Levolution? I think, yeah, Levolution is a, is a concept that, you know, encompasses, you know, everything about the, you know, how the map plays out. We, we want to create a, an environment that is, you know, extremely dynamic, both when it comes to the the second second action of the players, where you can you know you can shoot fire extinguishers to to hide in the hide right, in the, the in the smoke screen, screen. Uh, you know you have like alarms going off when you jump onto a car, for instance, you can hear where the enemy are in the environment. Uh, we have bigger things like you know the classic destruction of walls and and smaller uh, structures, and then of course have the big uh, skyscraper on this map uh, that right. you can actually take down, uh, and then. After that has happened, after that event, you actually create a big dust cloud that covers the entire right. map, that creates a new environment for all the players on the map, uh, especially for uh, people like helicopter pilots that have a very short uh, view distance and, and snipers that, you know, all of a sudden right. it's not as effective. That's one of the things that we've been seeing all throughout day one was uh, whenever that skyscraper would fall, uh, the debris coming yeah. out there. I mean, it makes it difficult for even uh, some of the recon classes mm -hmm. that are trying to to make some shots. Yeah. So let's go, go ahead and uh, go down that route as well. Uh, talking about the uh, the different types of attachments for some of these uh, primary weapons, mm. uh, having the ability to have uh, an optical, but also a secondary portion of that, a second attachment with uh, some for which we like a. A, a, a canted, yeah, canted uh, iron yeah. as well. Yeah, so we have we've done a lot of stuff to to enhance the the, the core you know shooting experience. You know where guns now have even more accessories, uh, also you know, deeper customization. So you can even customize your handgun now, right. uh, which is very very cool. You know canted size, you have alternate optics on your guns. You can you know flick over and get you know uh, X12 on uh, on right. your on your gun. Uh, so there's a lot of you know big and small things that, uh, you know, both for the, you know, hardcore Battlefield fans, but also for the newcomer, that is quite exciting. Something that I also noticed, so I remember that you were able to, in previous versions, you would have the ability to change from a burst fire to an automatic yes. to even a single shot, mm -hmm. and that's still here involved in Absolutely. this game. And one of the things that I also uh, saw as well in the recon with the sniper glass or having mm -hmm. the ability to to actually change your focal zoom, having the, the seeing the, the your range yeah. finder. Yeah, as well. yeah, there's a range finder in the for the recon class, and and also uh, you can also have multiple uh, zoom le levels, right. uh, which is very very cool. So you can actually go from a you know 4x zoom to a 12x zoom uh, in right. in real time, so to speak. It's and it's and it's great. So yeah. for those of you that are at home that are questioning if you have to pull your gun away move the attachment up, mm. it's all synonymous, it's just sit there and yeah. you have one attachment it and it just clicks yeah. back up there. Yeah. It's very quickly, you don't have to break from being yeah. uh, from being iron sighted. So yeah. I think that's a great uh, addition to it as well. So one of the questions that we've seen uh, numerous times over and over again mm. uh, was the difference between your small medic pack yes. and, your, and your medium size, yeah. same exact uh, thing for yeah. your ammo as well. Yeah, so the, the idea is there, you, we want to create a more mobile experience where you actually, when you run around and you don't have time to you know, go up to your squad mate and stop them and drop a med pack. You can actually throw med packs at them, more or less, to give a, a small but very effective boost uh, for their health. So it's a very mobile way of seeing uh, med packs and ammo packs. It's like basically sitting there uh, for uh, 
for anybody who's a parent out there saying, here's your lunch, <laughs> have fun, be good, all right, go on your way. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. the same thing with uh, <laughs> having a, a good time there with the, your health or ammo. So that's what you're seeing out there. So, mm -hmm. And for those that are questioning as well, if that uh, this small ammo packer ends up uh, on the ground, you can still get healed or uh, get yep. resupplied as well. So yes. uh, there, it's not as if I throw it and I miss you with yep. it. It's still effective yep. at that point as well. So. Mm -hmm. There's some other questions that are out there. I'm, I've seen uh, some uh, images that show uh, vehicles that have been uh, kind of on one side, and it it was made the assumption that uh, you had the ability to shoot out tires. I've already been told, uh, but can you get dive into that for me? Uh, I, we don't have you know shooting tires right. in the game. No, uh, we we talked about that quite a lot. You know, we have the uh, we have the ability to you know demobilize vehicles that right. we introduced in BF3 which we're still you know, uh, tweaking and tuning because we think it's a great uh, addition to the game. So that's kind of partial, uh, partially what you're doing if you take right. out the tires. But this is a more of a systematic way of doing it. So you can do it for all vehicles, even treaded vehicles. Um, so you can't take out individual tires. So there you go. So that yeah. I, just wanted to, I just wanted to have some, yeah. uh, some clarity out there for those. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, the community does a great job of trying to speculate yeah, great. every single aspect of the game. Yeah. I was even uh, looking at some of the things that are out there saying at 1.05.2, <laughs> this is what I saw on the bottom right-hand side yeah. that stated this. But mm -hmm. uh, in, in all reality, there's just, there's, yeah. they're, they're just do a great job of but trying to assume everything that they I can. Think, I think that's great. That's exactly what we were hoping for because, you know, we can only go out with so much information information in an interview or you know in the in the live environment Jeez. on the EA press conference so you can only right. show so much so we wanted people to be able to dissect the game yep. during this live stream doing a great job <laughs> of it uh, because there's so many you know things in the game that we have changed that we can't really list and and, and talk about in a in a fast way Right. So having this live stream is a great way for us and for our fans to actually look deeper into all the all the detailed you know improvements and additions to the game. So I think I'm exactly. I'm very very happy about this. Let's go ahead and here in just a moment we're going to give you mm. some more gameplays. You probably noticed behind us that they've already started to filter in here. And so as we go ahead and hop into the game here, yeah. um, so one of the things too, I mean, it's it's you're right. It, the the idea behind having just one person try to answer all the different types of questions even for alex mendez and myself uh while we're watching these games happen i mean i'm trying to digest every single bit of information that's on the screen i'm trying to even speculate as much as possible but uh you know the many is better than the few in this type of scenario where you have millions of people watching yeah. we've, we've seen the yeah, uh, viewers that are out there. there too so yeah no no, no i think it's uh, you know the battlefield has always been a game with great depth uh, so it's really hard for people to to grasp it in the first couple of minutes you can see the core you understand the world you understand what it's supposed to do and then you can explore that world and and find you know depth in almost every area of the game you know if you're a pilot you can find depth if you're if you like to play as a recon, there's infinite depth. There's so many things to do for each and individual class and individual uh, focus area for for the players. And I think that's the one of the biggest strengths with Battlefield that you can actually honestly use your personality to to conquer the battlefield. And I think that's amazing. I think one of the, one of the other beautiful aspects is the uh, the squad side of things too. Whenever you yeah. sit there, uh, I've watched numerous types of games. I've been at uh, the casual level, at a very high competitive level, watching a bunch of different games. And the communication, both casual and competitive, yeah. are above and beyond any other games that I've watched. I mean, it's yeah. the fact that it's so educated and saying exactly where they're watching, what they're doing, how much ammo they have, the, the support behind each other is just great. The fact that you'll see variations in classes, you'll see a recon support, uh, even have an engineer and assault all coming together and working together to get uh, one type of goal. And that's just one of the beautiful things. Right here you can see some pop shots uh, down range here by Alpha 5. Yeah, I think the, the the, the cool thing is that people want to work together. You know, they see the benefit exactly. of working together. They get they get a lot of oh, what happened? I, th it, I think he finally <laughs> killed him off yeah. there as he came in. Uh, so people f find it very natural to to work together, and you can see that that actually deepens the the game for everyone on the map. It's not only a game about you. It's a game about you and your team winning together, and that creates a very very uh, holistic. Uh, feeling 
uh, where you you want your team to win rather than you want to just you know shoot people personally. Right. And so some of the other aspects that we that we've seen, of course, um, before we uh, just like in Battlefield 3, you had the ability to set down a motion sensor yep. uh, and in your recon class. But also I've noticed uh, that you have some uh, motion balls that you can actually uh, throw yes. uh, your motion sensor out there yes. as well. So that's that's part of the mobility focus that we we've, we've had. I think they've done a great job with the with all of those features where uh, you feel more mobile. You can you know throw things like med packs, uh, motion sensors, etc., right. um, which feels make, empowers the players uh, to to get more intel about the about the enemies and the surrounding world. Uh, but also then having the ability for the commander to you know scan the whole area for a certain amount of time. Uh, gives go, gives the whole team a benefit uh, of this. I think the uh, the cool thing here is that it works on a small and a big scale together. So it's not different games. It's actually the same game, right. but, and everyone is playing together. I think it's one of the great things too. Is that I mean, we're talking about uh, multi-tier levels. Uh, I'm on the base tier. So for instance, here on Siege of Shanghai, I may be in the residential area. But yeah. I can toss up. Um, a, a small medic pack up to the second floor to my teammates yes. when they need it most. They may be under gunfire from two different individuals while I'm having to rush or back around to be able to get uh, get on the flank. I can at least give them some type of uh, mm -hmm. small med pack to be able to help yeah. them out through that process. Yeah. And I think it, it, it's interesting to see when you give people the ability to help each other, they will actually start doing that. Uh, and I think that's a very, very powerful uh, theme um, where people actually want to help. Uh, that's that's not something you see in every shooter today. Is there any other la last little things that you want to kind of note that, that that we really haven't dived down deep into? I think I think you we've uh, touched upon some really really cool things. That's a nice shot. Uh, <laughs> um, no, but it, it's interesting to see you know, that that the game at its core works really well, and I'm I'm loving the fact that people when they watch the live stream that they pick up on all the nuances right. that we changed with the game. Things that you might not be able to sell the first time you see the game, but when, when you see it running live, like this, you actually see all the small things that we change as well. So you get the full range of, of improvements for Battlefield 4 compared to Battlefield 3, for instance. Right. Uh, because to us, that's very important that you don't only have these big things that you, know, you could argue is like, oh, I don't care about those things. Uh, the the hundreds hours uh, that I'm spending in the right. game, uh, so I want you want depth in in all of the different small areas. Yeah, so it's been it's been good. I mean, so what what we've seen uh, throughout. I mean, you're e exactly right on the fact that we when we listen, uh, have the chance to actually listen to the community and get their input of what they see. Uh, it's 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 just been great. I mean, it also along the same time, whenever you have some type of uh, speculation out there, then. It allows more of a, maybe that might be a good feature to add into the game. Maybe we might. I, I, I definitely yeah. know that DICE listens to every Absolutely. aspect. And I appreciate you hopping on here with me. Uh, we'll get uh, allow you to kind of relax for a moment in between all of mm -hmm. your all of your interviews that yes. you've had so far. <laughs> a pleasure having you on here, Patrick. Thank you very uh, we'll much. We'll get Thanks uh, Alex back on here in just a moment. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, again, we'll just continue to watch more gameplay. So stick around uh, here watching the Battlefield 4 live stream. So now I'm joined back here with Alex Mendez. Again, I was uh, talking with Patrick Bach there, and uh, you know, getting some really just high-level uh, detail of what's happened uh, throughout uh, Battlefield with, we've, with the new additions that we've seen in the game so far. Just kind of t really clarifying uh, some of the things that uh, people have been questioning. Yeah, Patrick is a great guy, uh, without a doubt. He is super, uh, super passionate about Battlefield, and. You know, I mean, for new reason, but uh, but yeah, yeah. You know, I was on social media just a little while ago, uh, checking out what people were saying, and you know, they want to see some, they want to see some more focus on the uh, on the tickets. They want us, they want us to get into the nitty gritty of details of the ticket system. And you know, there could be some people who are fans of other games uh, that are watching this live stream because it is E3 2013, and this is the biggest video game convention. You know, uh, I guess Corey, why don't you tell people about the ticket system? 
in uh, in Battlefield 4. Yeah, so I mean, what, the way that uh, the way that I've always understood it is, uh, you, you've got your different capture points, and so right now, as you can see, uh, you've got uh, three ticket points or three points that are held by the U.S. side and two by the Chinese. So by, with that type of uh, means that there's one a uh, one point difference at that at the, as you look at it, and so as time progresses, you're going to lose one ticket at a time. Um, some of the other things to note: whenever uh, you decide to uh, suicide or uh, decide to kind of take yourself out of the game so you can be redeployed uh, you'll also your team will also lose a ticket uh, as well so there's there's different variations of how you can kind of uh, lose tickets earlier in the game yeah and uh, pretty much the entire purpose of the game is whoever is the first to lose their tickets they lose yeah, so, whoever zeroed out first yeah pretty much so with that said uh you know i haven't really seen a, a lot of uh you know action going on here i've been seeing a bunch of individuals roaming roaming around and then trying to make some magic happen uh, for the most part, though, it has been quite the even matchup uh, until uh, I would say about the midpoint of that game there. And now you can actually see the score flipping. It was uh, or 644 to like 390. And the U.S. certainly not looking very good as the CN forces are doing an astounding job of uh, controlling here. And look at the AC-130's visibility, Corey. Yeah, so that's one of the things that uh, is kind of interesting, too. So we've, we've seen, we've talked about it a lot with the, uh, the skyscraper and his debris. And as you can notice, this is why we uh, kind of go so far into detail about that. As you can see how easy it is uh, to see exactly where these players are. Yep, yep. And uh, and again, guys, the spectator mode that we're looking at here, the CN player that we're uh, spectating, Bravo uh, he'll be shooting 13, at blue right now. he'll be shooting at blue, just to clarify on that one. So, yeah, uh, you know, good angles here with that AC-130. Of course, you know, it is a devastating uh, tool if used properly. And I love the fact you can parachute out of it. I think that's uh, really cool as well. Just make sure you don't parachute out uh, while you're outside the, outside the boundaries. Yeah, that won't, that won't be good at all. That would, that would actually suck. Uh, so let's see what's up here. Uh, wow, all of uh, the U.S. squad not able to hold anything down. They are just getting smacked at this point in time. Uh, the CN has four territories, uh, B, C, D, and E, although C was being contested briefly, uh, not, not really going to matter all that much. They're going to be losing a lot of tickets here, and it is not going to look good for the U.S. squad. All right, as we continue to see, so right now we've got uh, most of the action that's happening. It's probably going to happen over there towards D, the D area as uh, they've kind of got a helicopter that's kind of pushing in over there. You've got a couple of scans that are happening for the, uh, from the commander over there for that B flag. And so, yeah, still looks like they're, they've been able to take over D right now. We're probably going to see some conflict happen uh, here shortly in the B flag. And that's why you see uh, the Alpha, uh, Alpha 19 uh, who's starting to make his way over there. He's the gunner for this helicopter. Alpha 20 is the pilot. And uh, looks like uh, right now, as you can see, just from this free cam angle, I'm taking a look right now. Sky you some, yeah, you see some debris that's falling at this point. And the visuals are just absolutely shocking. I am that a screen actually blue screens before it goes down. Yeah, and we'll see. Uh, oh, and there it goes. There comes the, uh, the skyscraper. As it collapses, that means the sea territory is going to be moving a little bit further into the water now uh, because blue of the screen. because of that falling down. <laughs> the blue screen actually is the blue best. screen of death. Yeah, as, as the skyscraper falls, that's pretty really awesome. That is awesome. I didn't even notice that. It's the little things, man. It's the little things. The elevator music, the blue screen of death, the cat that's on the billboard. <laughs> the cat that's on the billboard. Over by B, there's a there's a cat that uh, walks across the billboard. Really. Oh, that's pretty awesome. I, I, I did not notice that. That's yeah, over be between B and C uh, by the bridge, but we don't have to go over there to it. Just just, just take my word for it on this one. I I, I will. I will take your word for it. For Appreciate it. that. I, I, I believe in you. So there's, again, some little bit more evolution right there. You saw that the uh, the fire hydrant was uh, has been exploded, so that's going to cause some, uh, um, some visual blockage. Yeah. Visual blockage. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going with that. Yeah, and I don't blame you. And then look at this here, Bravo Squad, man. They're going to be pushing up so aggressive uh, on this C uh, C flag. They are going to contend it as well, or contest it, excuse me. 
and a tank struggling to get over this ridge. <laughs> Not the best idea, but let's uh, zoom our way over to see now as we see all this action going down. Bravo players pushing their way through. A unit working together. It is always an awesome thing to see as they are going to continue to press on forward to see. No one will be there to contest it. There's probably one or two players here on C as a whole, but uh, not enough to cause a problem for this well-positioned unit at this point in time. I thought we were watching a movie trailer for a second on that ta -ta, cinematic ta -ta, ta -ta. value. We're just kind of slowly following the the infantry as they're pushing up. But uh, as right now, uh, we can see they're still, they've spotted, they've kind of finally found this choke point. Ooh. Picks up one, kind of a nice little exchange between the two. It's going to come down to this little quick one versus one here. And going back and forth, his teammates has been able to regroup with them, but they will be able to finish that last player off over there. And so they can probably continue to progress if they'd like to. Uh, let's go ahead and hop in and uh, Ooh, to the tabletop and see exactly where all of these players are at right now. Oh, wait a minute, oh. though. Let's see what happens here real quick. This one alpha player is able to take out one, but I think he is going to uh -oh, get picked off. Yep, and C now is going to go to the problem. Is there a squad. gunship right now? Or, the, uh, or is there an uh, amphibious vehicle right now shooting? Uh, in the water right now, there's something that oh, there's a tank across the way there. It's over there towards that uh, that B flag. Uh, there's a tank uh, that is shooting over there towards the C region. So right there, you see him. Uh, this tank right there is actually the one that's uh, gunning uh, over there towards that point. Wow. Also, there's actually two tanks, uh, one further down the way uh, that is also gunning as well. So they're basically trying to give a lot of. Uh, uh, gunfire there towards that point, trying to pick off numerous players to be able to help out their team. Again, we're on the alpha side right now, so they should be shooting at the orange icon at this point. And uh, so, yeah, you can see how they're all exposed, and they might be able to pick up another one. There goes one down, still spraying away. There goes another. And so they're just kind of picking them apart. Just great idea again. But whenever that skyscraper falls, it changes the the, uh, the way that the land is. Yeah and actually push, pushes it further out and making it more and more like a peninsula. Yeah, it changes the dynamic, the evolution, as you said before, Corey, that, uh, you know, that, that DICE has uh, been very, uh, I guess you could say, very creative in implementing the way that, you know, something like a skyscraper it's falling. Aesthetics, man. Yeah, it's not aesthetics at all. This is stuff that legitimately affects the map, and you're seeing it right before your eyes as this unit of tanks is uh, doing a, a good job of holding out C, but they need infantry to push into C to get that uh, control, and they do have the means to do so. At least they can go across the water here. I think they could probably say, oh, that, that, that fell in the water. That, that, that can't go That's the water. unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, you can actually see, though, that because of this, right, because of the, uh, the, the building falling down, you can actually get on the water, swim across the quicker swim, and then uh, make your way into the sea territory. That would be a big win for... Uh, for the alpha squad. That's a huge plus for these guys. I mean, as we can see, again, this, this tank now struggling to get by that staircase on the left-hand side. Oh, and no! ends up in the water. Oh, no, let's go ahead and go back to the tabletop. Oh, uh, uh, Again, there's still some different types of things, uh, different elements that uh, they're working on here in this pre-alpha version of Battlefield 4. That's right, and C has uh, been a very hot commodity at this point in time. And, uh, and looking, oh, wait a minute, though, we do see an alpha player just shooting him a grenade. That is just so mean. Shoot him! Oh, okay. Uh, he takes his dog tags instead. Yeah, that was, that was actually pretty cool. All right, and uh, now it, uh, just as we were talking about it before, you know, C was a very, very hot point of interest. Now it is going to be D that is taken here by the U.S. squad. 174 to 396. Uh, he's been spotted. He has been, and he needs to stay alive. A little bit of a jump back. He wins that gunfight. Still going to hold his position down at D, and I think that they are going to be able to get this one. But, Corey, the question is, are they out of the game? Is it too late? Uh, so that's one of the things that about Battlefield. It, it, you know, we say it a lot in, it, in, it, in all of the other games that we cover, that they're usually not out of it. Anything can happen. Well, really, this is the first, you know, really, we mean it this time. Anything can happen. Basically, uh, you can have the Chinese team come all the way back by picking up all points and holding it down. And uh, even if they're at one ticket left, as long as they picked up all, the, all of the points, if they have one ticket left, they can kind of uh, stay alive. Yeah, well, uh, that is, uh, you know, that is a very tall order, though, Corey, a very oh, difficult yeah, thing to do, especially in the chaos of Battlefield. It's impossible, but not impossible. Yeah, 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 I, I agree with you <laughs> on that one. 
good one. So uh, now Alpha 11 here is going to make his way onto the shore for C. Coming behind the uh, the CN players that are going to be right here. He's able to find one, and this is going to be big here, but that red, uh, that laser sight is going to impede the vision just a little bit, but it is nice not going to matter. That is right. They are able to take off this squad. There are going to be a couple uh -oh. players, though, coming from the left side. You can see Alpha 11 putting in some shots there. He's all over the place at this point in time. Can't <laughs> seem to connect with Hey, hey, hey. I couldn't resist. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> oh, man. But that was uh, actually pretty good there as uh, this Alpha squad has been able to hold their position down. But that player is going to get dropped. So that is going to hurt them a lot at C because they had two members holding out C and they were getting swarmed by Bravo. So at the uh -oh. very least, we're on board with the recon class here. Here, oh, he gets spotted. That's unfortunate. He gets spotted and taken out. He was going to be in a perfect point uh, that he would be able to pick up a couple right there. As right now, you can see we're on board here with Alpha 20. Uh, he's been in the helicopter, uh, been the pilot for majority of this game. Actually, it looks like he's the gunner right now. Oh, take a look actually uh, at C. You can see that there's a big, big grouping uh -oh, of coming players in. there. Look at that. And they've got squads. Wow, the, now we're starting to see your traditional battlefield style. We've got squads that are uh, working together here. Oh. And they're going to start to move over here towards the sea. But be on the lookout. There's a tank strolling in. He can just try to mow them down. He's been spotted. Let's go, go to the first person view of the player that we're on right now. As uh, you can see, he spots this tank. Oh. He's caused a lot of damage. He's got two of his teammates working together now. He's going all out, full sprint. He's going to try to take it down with a re repair tool. This may take a while, though, <laughs> as uh, we'll kind of uh, hang on board with him. He's going all out. If he, he actually continues. If he commits. He is so committed right now, it's ridiculous. I wounded that tank. I'm going for it. No. Gonna, oh, wait a minute. There's a guy there. Let's go ahead and switch over to another weapon I probably shouldn't have in my hands right now. Bobbing and weaving, <laughs> dancing, two-stepping with this player here. No! And he tries to rocket <laughs> jump. No, I'm just kidding. Didn't really try to rocket yeah, jump. Right, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That, that was, was funny. so funny. That really was. Oh, man. All right. Well, Alpha 31 here with the uh, Scout Elite looking sick. across the river. And uh, this is a shooting at Alpha people. Not, not yeah, That's his teammate. And that is his teammate. That's not his teammate. There you go. There you go, buddy. You got it. You got to lead your shot a little bit here. Yeah, that, that is the thing about Battlefield. It is, it, it, you know, this is not one of those uh, point and clicks. You, you know, you got to got to, you know, lead your shots. You got to be very uh, cautious of what you're doing. And I don't know why he's a dead set shooting his teammate. teammate. And that's why he died. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, Alpha 24 on your screen once again as they're going to be charging over to D now. But not the smartest thing. He's going to be the last player here. It is pretty much going to be game. They cannot maintain the control. That is going to do it there. Wow. No, that was, that was cool. just, a, just a great time to watch. I mean, the, throughout the, uh, we saw uh, one of the players trying to commit. <laughs> Yeah. to getting that uh, he repair tool. He was so lights. into it. He's like, I'm going to have to just push my way over across this bridge. <laughs> I'm going to blow torch this guy to death. Oh, this man. is this is the plan. <laughs> I want to meet that guy, man. He's a, he's, he's a gutsy dude. He's then an he, Olympian, Then man. he fought a guy with a rocket launcher. He, he brought a rocket launcher to a gunfight. Usually that would win, but... <laughs> No, he, it's he was, we're both right going down. Marjan, I don't even care. We're both going out of the picture. <laughs> oh, but we're man. going down with style. That is right. Well, that is going to do it for that game. But, Corey, anything else that is uh, going to be coming up here in, in a little bit? Uh, it's, uh, there's. I mean, we've got so much to look forward to throughout this entire time. I mean, uh, again, this is day two. Uh, we still have day two and day three here the, to look forward to here at E3. Uh, here on the Battlefield live stream. Again, I'm Corey Dunn alongside Alex Mendez. It's been a lot of fun. I've been enjoying every bit of this uh, this whole week yep. so far. I mean, there's been some great things to check out throughout the uh, the venue. That's right. Uh, but uh, while we wait for the next 64 players, have 64 players uh, to join us here in a little bit, we'll kind of, again, take another look at what we can see with Siege of Shanghai. And uh, it's going to be a great time. That is right. So as you can see, the players were uh, loading out now. That is going to do it for that session. But we're going to be right back uh, with some more Battlefield 4 action live from E3 2013 here in Los Angeles, California at the Los Angeles Convention Center. This has certainly been such a great time here. DICE has put a lot of hard work into this game. So with that said, we're going to be right back. Do not go anywhere. More Battlefield coming at you on the other side. We'll see you in a bit.